what I'm going to do, Sam, is again, I, need, I see that I have the square root of 10. And I'm going to want to get that square root of 10 off there. So I'm going to have to multiply by the conjugate. Because um, I can't multiply just by the square root of 10. Because if I multiply the square root of 10, I'm going to multiply 2 times the square root of 10. And I'm still going to have a square root on the bottom. So therefore, I have to multiply by the conjugate. And remember, the conjugate is going to be the same form, but now with this separate sign. All right. So now, to kind of make things go through a little bit quicker, we know that here we're going to have to apply distributive property. And here is the difference of two squares. So I only need to multiply the first and the last. If you want to do inner and outer, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you want to do the inner and outer, but you'll notice the inner and the outer terms just uh, add up to 0. So let's do the top again. So 3 times square root of 10 is 3. Square root of 10. 3 times 2 is 6. Square root of 10 times square root of 10 is just going to be square root of 10 squared, which is just 10. Negative 2 times 2 is, or negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So therefore, um, that simplifies to 3 square root of 10 plus 6 over 6. A lot of students say, oh, these 6s you know, cancel out. No. This 6 divides into the 6, and this 6 divides into the 3. Divides into both of them. Another way you guys could rewrite this as 3 square root of 10 over 6 plus 6 square root of 6. Right? You guys say 3 fourths plus, uh, plus 5 fourths? <coughs> All right, let's, let's do it this way. 3 fourths plus uh, um, 8x, if you did something like this. Right? If you were to add these up, you'd do 3 plus 8x divided by 4. Well, the 4 just doesn't divide into 8. It divides into both of those, right? because that's where it came from. So what we can do is we can still factor out a 2. You can still simplify this. But we're not going to have this simplified all the way. So the common term here is actually a 3. So if I factor out a 3, my final answer is going to be the square root of 10 plus 2 divided by 2. Okay, So that would be your simplified version. All right? And that is it.